move out the balcony. You may recognize this. We have been here before. Do we fight a boss here? Uh, I don't think we do, just a load of those guys. But same window as before. The only difference is if we head up here. There's no, it's just this room. Just checking for any items. I don't think there is up here, but yeah, the pathway. Closed. Oh yeah, I know what this one is. They got magic. all of them. Special magical abilities. Uh, uh, black sky eye, is this just a, a material? Or... Oh, I think this might be a spell actually. Uh, black sky eye. Summon a tiny meteor from the dark depths of one's pupil. A uh, soft eye based by Phan Phantasm, they were discovered through Bergenworth's contact with the arcane, but in the end revealed nothing. Deep within the eye lies a vast stretch of dark sky that rumbles with an endless meteor storm. The slightest rub of the tiny orb and the rock will tumble its all. Nice. Um, let's see, yeah, just like in the other. In the other area similar to this. Smash that. Um, I think this side there's a... Uh, little creature. I don't think there's anything up this, up this end. No. Turn off. Ah, so I can make this jump. Absolutely hate doing these. Uh, pulsing damp blood gem. Okay, so because we came up. We're kind of back in the uh, area that we were before. We can we jump on the bed in this bit because the elevator's gone up. There's a new item over there. Spec surgery or to what Lawrence's skull. Skull of Lawrence, first vicar of the Healing Church. In reality, he became the first cleric beast, and his human skull only exists within the nightmare. 
The skull is a symbol of Lawrence's past and what he failed to protect. He is destined to seek his skull, but even if he found it, he could never restore his memories. And that's in the, the key items as well. And that's just uh, back to the way up. Um, I'm going to head down here first. So we did get the... Um, the key, which I think might be for this bit down here. Or it could be for all these other doors. Yeah, so it might not be for this guy actually. Yeah, so it must be for all the other ones. Um, like these. Hunter hat, old hunt around bands, wine hacker mana, whatever that was. What's the um, uh, standard hunter's hat worn by Yamamura the Wanderer? His hat and staff were given to him when he became a hunter and confederate of the league. A league hunter. So, yeah, I think that just means we can open all of these uh, doors. Previously locked. So uh, save that one. Still glowing in that room where the item was. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Just got this one. Still there. Okay, choose the door. And we've got the church pick. <laughs> um, okay. Go. Okay. 
Uh, so let's go kill these next two bosses and end the stream for tonight. And then hopefully if we get enough sleep, I should be able to finish off the rest of it by tomorrow. Now we just need to head back up top. Poor, poor brain lady. So I think this is the one where we can just go straight to the boss area. So this one isn't actually too bad. It's one of the easiest bosses in this uh So you can just stand here behind a tree. That's all great. Uh, until that happens. Same thing, just uh just cut out hide behind the tree, it should be okay. And tear these bitches out. Four hits and they're down. Just got this guy left. Astral clock tower. And they do actually like move really slow, so and you can get backstabs and parries and there's one left. Can we do it? Nope. Oh, I might just die here in a minute. But yeah, I mean, like, they sway pretty slowly. Is this one bugged? Are they just coming back? Yeah, but yeah, you could just take your time with those. There's no time limit. I think the, like, maximum is probably four at a time. And if you get in here, just move away, heal up. And when they call the big spell, just move behind the tree. It's usually just stand here and you're fine. But yeah, that's a good one. Uh, next, we've got Lady Maria. Uh, thank you.